Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Pretty excited. Uh, I just aced my Sheridan. Yep, cat's out of the bag. I'm gonna ruin the game for you. Um, but it is still a sweet game to watch. Alright, so way back when I made a video of like Prokhorovka, don't give up, especially if you're a scout tank. Um, you can affect the game so much on this. And that's really kind of what I did here. Even when you think it's down and out, the vision that you can provide for your team um, can change the, the way this map goes. And the thing is, my, nobody goes to the field. All right, I'm just quit babbling. I'm just super excited, guys. <clears throat> All right, so we're on Prokhorovka, tier 10 match. Uh, we got some eights on our team. They got some eights on their team, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm gonna move up, get initial spots. Right away before the game started, I pinged the map, kind of the locations that I was gonna light up for the team. I'm gonna take a really aggressive line here. Um, my Sheridan has coded ops, so um, it's not like it can see really far, but it does have 100 vision, so if I take an aggressive line, I can spot a lot of their team up. So <clears throat> you can see I got everything on the A line lit, and really what I was trying to do there is A, stay alive, but B, just get these guys lit to pause them in the field, which will hopefully buy my team some time to get in position. Unfortunately, my whole team marches up to the hill, okay? So that's fine, cool. I'm just gonna lock this field down, so hopefully we can push across this field um, and then take the 7890 and be able to fight from there. Not my preferred method of winning this map, but if that's what my team's gonna do, I'm gonna lock Vision down for him. So we got a Waffle Tracker E100 here, and then there's a Carnarvon next to him. My Artie should be able to dunk this Waffle. So I can barely see his turret, he's moving back and forth. This gun isn't accurate, I don't really want to shoot at him unless I know I can see him. Got a decent target, and he's stationary. And when Artie hits him, he breaks his track, so that carnarvon has got a shot on me. Getting this low ground, and he actually it looked like he couldn't see me anymore, but I was still detected, so I don't know if it just stays that way. Uh, not a big deal. All right, so my whole team is not pushing forward, um, so I kind of want to try to help Artie slow them down in the big field, so I'm going to make an attempt at spotting for them. I'm gonna try to slide down sideways here, and I just get too much momentum and put myself on 86 hit points. Slide down this one, which a little bit more gracefully, and my turrets broke, and I just don't feel like we're gonna win this game, so I don't wanna spend the repair kit on, even though it's a small repair kit, um, I don't wanna spend it on my turret. I don't think it's that important. All right, and then I'm gonna try to drive up here, and that airplane's gonna stuff me. I'm gonna drive around him. <clears throat> which I lost my momentum, and I really just want to get vision up for our arty so they don't die. Uh, but we still did have a heavy tank in F3 that just died, um, so that buys me enough time to get in position. We also have a Leopard 1 back here, um, providing some intel for our arty, and you can see they're starting to work their way down the one line. There's 13105 here, and what I'm doing here is making it so I can just drive forward and hopefully exit. Um, but my vision circle was underneath the hills, um, or behind the hills. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this 105 is hyper aggressive right now. Um, I think he knows how many hit points I have and he just wants to kill me. Um, and I know he's got three shots, I know he's not very accurate, and I have a derp gun and I can, I can definitely take eight, uh, 677 damage off of him. <clears throat> so I miss him around the corner, or I don't even shoot. And then when I do hit him, I hit his track for 400. Somehow, he bounces two shots off me. I mean, that's just Sheridan. Sheridan has these weird space aluminum tubs. Um, and actually, the tank in real life has those aluminum. Actually, I think they're they're either plastic or aluminum. I can't remember what I read now. Um, but they have, like, the Sheridan in real life actually has these containers or tubs. If you look at this, there's, like, rectangles. Um, and that's to help it float so when they need to ford a river they can do that. Alright, so what I'm doing here, I don't have a lot of hit points. Uh, still haven't fixed my turret. We are only down two, so I think this is doable. However, 
this, if you take 7890, you have to just set up defensively and let them make mistakes. You can't really attack because they have um, just opportune locations plus enough people, uh, enough room to back each other up. So I'm hoping that we can just slowly whittle them down, but as we take a tank, they take one back. So we're not making up any ground really. Um, what I'm doing is just utilizing this train to make my to make it really difficult for them to hit me. All right, so at this point, I have to take the middle if I wanna win this. So if I don't take middle, we're gonna lose. I have to risk this. Um, so I'm gonna get in right behind him, make sure I do a full pen, but this 140 hits him right before I do. And this is where I thought I died. Uh, he lost, he made me lose all my momentum. Um, but for some reason, they must have started shooting at him instead of me, which was a, thankfully for me, that happened. All right, so now I got middle. I feel like I can control the whole vision of the map now. And we tie it up, 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, and then they take our leopard, which is unfortunate. Uh, I think he really saved my life there with the 13105. I spot Artie after I take a shot at the 5100. I had an engine deck shot too, so that's kind of unfortunate that I didn't get a shot in him. Our Artie is now uh, located on top of the hill. The other one just sat there and died, um, but this one was aware of his surroundings and uh, is going to help out. If I'm a scout on Prokhorovka and I got an Artie alive, I feel like I have a chance. Um, doesn't mean that I'm going to use my gun necessarily. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that people are spotted to allow my Artie to do some work. So I tried to lead my shot there. That's a long shot for a Sheridan with a derp gun. Um, but already shuts him down, which is awesome. And then I put my focus towards these guys. Um, <clears throat> and I'm staring at the Kronwagen. To me, that's a dangerous tank. I want to try to, to get it down. Um, and then I can't spot him anymore. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. My Chieftain and my Artie are on top of the hill. And there's actually a tank spotted in J7. Um, so me and is that no oh, my dead object 140 pings that spot so i spot kronwagen coming up the field i'm hoping Artie has a shot on him and then the same goes for their team they have Artie, which makes them relevant in this game um i mean they're more relevant than us three are but if i can take out their Artie, then i feel like we should be able to get gain the upper hand as long as they don't get too aggressive. <clears throat> so I fully aim my shot, I take that long shot, it was the same one I took with the 5100, except this time it flies true. Um, Artie is a little bit bigger target than the 5100, but not by much. Um, <clears throat> all right, so now it's all about the vision game. Okay, I'm hoping my Chieftain can keep my Artie alive if they start to push on him, and then I'll just provide intel for my Artie and that doesn't work. Artie's dead. So now it's me and the Chieftain. <clears throat> All right, so hope is not lost. <clears throat> Spot the Kronwagen and the 257. Chieftain shuts 257 down, and now we got this full health Kronwagen coming. <clears throat> I hit him, and I get a crit, so I think he's tracked there. I'm gonna move around to get vision, and now I'm just gonna do some bush work here. Now, Sheridan, when you're using the derp gun, you lose a lot of camo by shooting this high caliber gun. Um, <clears throat> but at this point, I mean, you have to make risks to win the game. And with 86 hit points, I mean, I'm trying to use my detection circle as best as possible and then be far enough behind a bush to where I can still use it as camo. Perfect shot, light him up on fire. Now I want to get him spotted so I can see how much damage I did. And he got the fire out. I mean, I could see that with the, I wasn't getting any more crits. But now I'm loading, um, I'm actually, I have been loading the high explosive premium rounds. Shooting him in the back, I don't penetrate, which is unfortunate. So he kills my chieftain. He's got 48 hit points. I have no idea where their tank destroyers are. Um, so what I want to do is get back in mid, 
I was looking for a shot there and I think it was like two seconds away from loading my gun uh, before before he rounded that corner which I mean it would have been another tough shot but with my HE shells all I need to do is splash that guy and he's dead <clears throat> alright so we got a Yagru I have no idea how many hit points he has the Fox 155 I I know now how many hit points he has but in game I didn't know um, so watching the replay shows that he showed up here and I just was looking down my barrel at the Kronwagen and didn't catch how many hit points he has so I don't know if you guys seen it, but I'm not going to give it away. Um, and I know the Kronwagen, all I need to do is splash him. All these three tanks, the Sheridan can outspot ridiculously. Um, especially as a scout, I should be able to freely move. Um, the only problem is going to be if they set up a trap. Um, to me, I would probably put... <clears throat> I'd try to just position like my Yeagru on top of the hill my Foch either under this bridge or under the bridge in the south and then put the Kronwagen right in F7 and then you're you got everything covered um, and they know how many hit points I have while I was babbling about that I spotted the 155 he was heading up to A0 I don't know what the hell he's gonna do up there but um, well, as soon as I spotted him, he turned around, and he, he didn't see me until I shot, which then he was dead. So, still worried. I'm not sure where this Jaeger is. And I'm also not sure where the Kronwagen went to, but and I really hope this is the Kronwagen. And of course it's not. It's Jaeger, and he is full health. You know what? I really don't care. He can't see me. I'll know if he can see me once I shoot my gun here. Not spotted. And then what? Kronwagen kills himself? He helps me out by killing himself. I wonder if he killed himself or I killed my, almost killed myself. That'd be interesting. Should have watched that part. Alright. So... Honestly, with my excitement, I know you guys can tell that I won this game, um, but there is a little bit of technique that I use here. So, Jaeger goes behind the dead tank. He's not sure where I'm at. I mean, he knows from the spot that I was shooting from. So what I'm just gonna do is open up an angle to where I'm not gonna miss. I don't wanna throw HE shells at the top of the Jaeger um, behind a dead tank. A, that's gonna give, my, give away my position, and B, really lower my chances of being able to hit him so now he's turning his tank towards me and he's getting ready to blind fire you can see he shot so I was making sure that if he was aimed at me that I'm not going to sit there after I fire And now I'm just looking for good shots. He's still behind that dead tank. This time he spots me, so I got a little aggressive. And I'm really excited. Um, at this point I got 6k spotting and like 5k damage. Put one more, and I feel like all I need to do is get one more HE shell in, um, but I do not want to have this game end in tragedy. Um, so I'm going to take my time. I was thinking about just popping up there and shooting him, but then I thought otherwise, like, if I get unlucky and he actually gets me, then it's going to be game over. So aim fully, and it's a good thing I didn't shoot from there, because I would have got spotted, and then I would have backed down the ridge, and he would have been left on potential hit points 26 seconds left shut him down get him dead bunch of ribbons up there man this is a the i would say the best scout game i've ever had i've had 10,000 spotting damage uh, but in that game i didn't really do a lot of damage i was pretty much just spotting in a bush for my team and locking the team down which is which is good in a way um, but this is just like a full complement of what a scout is able to do My first ace, 
in the Sheridan. <clears throat> Ace tanker, high caliber, Spartan metal, scout metal, and a defender metal. 55,000 with premium. And those were shooting all my HE shells, my premium rounds, which are pretty expensive. 6K damage, 6K assisted. Already sends me a shout out, says that was a sick game. Uh, it was fun to watch. My 261, that was helping me in the end there. And unfortunately, Kronwagen died. You can see their team really didn't do that well. They just worked a better plan than we did. I mean, we took the 7890, which is definitely not the best place to go on Proke. I know this is a long game, um, but definitely had to capture it for you guys. That's really all I got for you. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.